Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm really sorry again, I'm actually not in my apartment. So this week I'm staying with my parents, my friend's getting married. So I came up to New Zealand for the wedding, so that's where I am. So again, not my apartment, but it's my parents' house and it's super comfy, so I'm pretty happy. Anyway, so as I said this week, I've decided to show you guys some organizational products that I've recently just purchased in America this week, which is gonna make my apartment a bit more organized, a bit more helpful. And I thought I can show them to you guys as well and hopefully give you some ideas. Now, a lot of these have been bought in America through some different shops, but I've seen the same thing in Australia or New Zealand or wherever you may be. So they're not hard to come by. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing I wanted to show you is one of my favorites. So this was by KitchenAid. See that? Cool. So there's these little bowls. Um, I'm gonna show you this because they're absolutely fantastic. So you've got four in a pack, and I got these from TJ Maxx. Now, I don't know if you guys get TJ Maxx where you're from. I'm not sure where my, a lot of you guys are from, but anyway, if you get TJ Maxx, it's a fantastic store. So, oh, shot punch. So it came with a set of four of these. Now this is the biggest one of the two. But it came with these little lids. So you can cut them on and make them fit. Now, these would be absolutely great for your fridge. For example, I was gonna, what I like to do is I like omelettes and scrambled eggs and stuff like that in the morning. So I thought you could pre-make them up, mix them up right here, put the lid on, go to bed, wake up in the morning, and it will still be fine, and just fry them up. Or make your omelette or whatever. So you've got them all organized. And all in different sizes, great. And for $5, for four, I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I was quite happy with that. The next thing I got was this little container. Now, I'm going to do a pantry organizational tour later so I can show you guys what I've done with my pantry back in Sydney if we ever make it to my apartment. And this is one of the things which I've used to organize my spices in. So I've already got one of these and this is the second one. So you'll see what this comes into later. But again, this was like $2. And it's actually really suited plastic. Now this was from Daiso. Now Daiso is actually a Japanese homeware store. And they're all around the wood. You get them in Australia as well. So keep an eye out for them. The next thing I got was this. Now I don't know if you guys can quite understand what this is for. Now this hooks under, so imagine my hands are a shelf. So it hooks under a shelf and you can put things in it. So for example, our cupboards are very, very deep and they're very, very high. Like our um, pantry and under our bathroom cupboard and stuff. So I thought this, you can hang under your cupboard and it virtually gives you a whole other shelf. And this was like, this was $3. So I was like, can't complain about this. And I've seen these at like, Target, Kmart, um, Walmart, places like that as well. The next thing I got is these. Now these are actually really pretty. These are little storage bins. Little like, canvas style ones I guess you'd say. And they're very durable and strong and sturdy. So I've got these all throughout my house. I've got them in the, in the guest bedroom to hold bath towels for the guests. I've got them in my room to hold, uh, I've got my backpacks I think in them. I've got them in, where else have I got them in the, oh, in the living room, I've got like magazines in them. So these are fantastic. And again, they look really pretty and they're, they're pretty cheap. This was a game for like five or ten dollars. I think from TJ Maxx, but I'm not sure. And again, I got another one of these under the sink ones. Now this one's a little bit lower, so it's not as deep as this one. But I thought it would be great for anything as well. Now, I, I, was, I was riding my bike in America and I fell off my bike and I broke it, but it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. The next thing I got is a drawer organizer and I'm super excited about this because I've wanted one of these for ages. And it's really, really sturdy. It's got a little non-slip, um, like, grippy surface. So I was going to put this in my second drawer down, which is like my drunk drawer. Everyone has a drunk drawer, right? So it's where you put everything you don't use very often, your whisk, your spatula, um, your wooden spoons, things like that. So I thought this would be absolutely great to divide it up. Because the one I've got at the moment is a little bit small. So when I do my kitchen tour, I'll show you guys this. And then, I'm actually I'm really excited about this one as well. This I'm going to use in my kitchen. So it's an over the door. So you just hang it over the um, the, draw, the door. And you can put your little, uh, I was going to put my uh, dishwashing liquid in it. My uh, scrubbing brush and gloves, etc. Just things that I need for di washing the dishes and I use every day. But I don't like to keep stuff on the bench because it keeps it cluttered and doesn't look nice. So that, that gain was probably like mm, four or five dollars. And this was about this was about eight. And again, you can get this anywhere, Target, Kmart, Walmart, any of those types of places. The next thing I got was from the Dollar Tree. Now the Dollar Tree is an American brand, because a lot of you guys might be from Australia or wherever you're from. So they basically everything's like a dollar. It's like a two dollar shop, but with a dollar. 
And so I got this, and this is an over-the-door metal hook. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, so I was going to hang this over my linen cupboard, and I was actually going to hang um, like my bathrobe and stuff that I don't use very often over the back of it, because I thought it's a great way to store things on the back of the door, which never gets used. The only thing that's a bit wide is it's a bit of metal, so I might stick a bit of like, um, like duct tape or electrical tape or something, like a soft tape around it so it doesn't scratch the top of the door, but I'll let you guys know what I do with that. And the next thing I got was from Daiso. Again, Daiso is at Japanese homeware store, I think I've mentioned earlier. So this here is um, a magnetic case. So I'll take it out and show it out. So you can stick it to any magnetic surface, and it's got a little um, holster in it. So I was actually going to put like rubber bands and things that I use in the kitchen a lot, um, and then I can stick it to the side of our fridge. Now our fridge pokes out from its... Um, cabinet or it's a little hole a bit so I thought I can stick it on the side and no one will see it so I'm quite excited about that and the next thing I got were and I'm super excited about these this is probably one of my, this is my, probably my favourite purchase was these blue buckets now everyone's seen these blue buckets right oh I need to get the pad they're all stuck together okay you know I get that so imagine if these were all pulled apart so I got four of them and again, these are actually from Daiso, and they were $1.50 each, so I thought that was a really, really good deal. So these you can use for anything. Um, you can use them to plant pots. I'll show you, I'll show you a photo. So that, that's how my mum's used them. You can also use them for laundry, you know, to put do laundry in. I used to have fish, and I used to actually put the fish's water in here when I was filling out the fish tank. Um, you can use them, you know, obviously for storage. That they're really, really good little ice buckets. If you want to put some ice in here, you can put your drinks in them. You can do anything with them. So I got four of them, and for $6, I'm pretty happy with that purchase. But you can get these at like um, Lowe's or Bunnings, or I think even like Walmart and pump doors and stuff now sell them. And they're super cheap and very durable. They're all made of like kind of like silicon, I don't know. Like a, they're great material. And the next thing I got was again from the Dollar Tree. So these are little candles, and I've had these for oh, probably the last year and a half. And I, when I discovered them, I absolutely love them. So they're a little, really cute. They come in a little jar, and they're fresh linen scent. And I wish you could smell them because they smell amazing. So they literally smell like washing powder, and I love the smell of washing powder. So I'm happy with it. Now you're probably wondering why I'm showing you this in an organisational video, but the reason is because you can get this, you can clean them out afterwards and use them to store things in. So you could use them, you know, to store little pins and needles, or you could use them to store, um, I'm trying to think what else you could store in them. I wouldn't store food because they've had um, candles in them and they still smell a bit like linen. So probably not the best idea for food. Uh, oh, you could store thumbtacks or anything like that in them. So I've got a whole bunch of those, I love these, and they just smell so good. Now the next thing I got is these plastic storage containers. And again, these were from Daiso. And these are meant to be holding papers, etc. But I think these are actually great for holding those little loose items which you have no place for. So I've just folded out a whole bunch of random stuff at the moment. So I've just got you know, some ribbon and plasters, etc. But you can virtually you can fill them up with stuff and you can store them like in, like you would with paper um, underneath your bathroom cabinet. You could fill it full of you know like I've got some gloves in here, etc. You could put them um, in your if you've got like you know in the pantry with your cleaning products, etc. Or well, maybe you shouldn't store cleaning products in the pantry, I'm not sure, but anyway. So these are fantastic, but of course you can obviously store papers and all that in them. And these are about $1.50, and they're quite, again, quite sturdy and strong. So I was quite happy with this. Um, and to be honest, oh, one more. Put that, sorry, I thought I was up. Let's open them. So I got these. Now these are meant to be little pencil cases from Office Max. I think these were like 50 cents each, they're really cheap. They just made a little plastic, but they fold out in and out. But I thought, how good would these, obviously you can store pencils, etc. in them. But how good would these to be stored, just those little awkward items, which you know, we've all got. So I was thinking you could store like um, paper clips, etc. in here. And because they're see-through, I've got a couple of them. And you could get them, you know, in different colours and they weren't see-through. But I thought for a little storage container for 50 cents, these are fantastic. And they don't take up a huge amount of room. And they seem to, they're not 
the greatest quality. I feel like I could probably, you know, sit on the break. But for 50 cents, I'm pretty happy. And I've just thought of one more use you could use for these as well, for these um, candle things. Oh, I just love the smell. I just love it. You could also put little tea lights in them and reuse them as candle holders. Obviously, you have to take off the lid because, you know, fire needs oxygen. But how cool would they be? You could just refill them and how beautiful would they look? So don't throw these away. Hold on to them. And the Bed Bath & Body Works ones would work the same as well. Oh, and to, so to clean these out, it was super easy as well. I probably should have mentioned that. I literally just removed the label, I scraped out as much wax as I could, I put a bit of like, like not hot boiling water, but just hot water from the tap in it, and it virtually melted away. I didn't, don't pour the um, wax down the sink though, I don't think that's good for your um, plumbing. So I just poured it into a little container, and then literally just if you get a paper towel, wipe out if there's any remaining wax, and it's all clean and ready to go. So thank you so much, so much guys for watching. Um, I'm really sorry this wasn't an apartment tour, but I promise you next time will be an apartment tour. Well, maybe not promise, that's a strong word. I hope next time will be an apartment tour. Anyway, you guys take care and have a fantastic week, and I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below in the comment box. And yeah, so see you next time guys, take care, bye bye!